ability <laughs> to provide. I'll, okay, uh, someone to provide. Ability, ability to provide. Oh, it's in the 70. All right. Leadership qualities. It's in the 13. Exactly. See, now we, guys, you see this? She, <laughs> she wants everything that comes with the type of man that she wants, but if it flips to that he has all those things and she could be in charge and be the leader, this is what women, this is what I mean when women desire to have it all. You see, she escaped some, she escaped one thing and she moved everything else to the 770 bracket. But yet when it came to leadership skills, she was like, oh, fuck, you cannot have leadership skills because I'm going to take that shit over anyway. So you see, you see, this is how y'all continue to reveal yourself. So at the end of the day, you don't mind him not being a leader because you feel within you that you're modern enough to go ahead, use his money to do whatever and run things, saying that, you know what, baby, as long as you provide, I'm going to run this house the right way that it needs to be ran. That's your mentality. That's what you're showing. <laughs> oh. So you're laughing because you know it's true. You see? Yeah, you know, it's true, though. Exactly. I don't like to let anything escape me, man. Even when I'm in my tired mode, I catch these things. I do this. This is what I do. I've been in... I'm, um, I don't know if you can see it. Or I'll put it down. My psychology degree. My, my teacher never liked me one day in my life because I went against any and everything that I won't say everything, but a lot of things that he taught because a lot of things was asked backwards. But I was able to always approve my point in class. And he hated me for that because I could see. And by looking at you and what you're saying, that's what you want. You have that modern woman yeah, spirit yeah. within you. You're going, you know that you're good. You, you well know that you're going to need a beta male. You want a good looking beta male. A young man who able to go out and make money, but come home and know that he needs to listen to you. That's what you want. <laughs> Be honest. Uh, yes, 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 yes. You're right. <laughs> um, but you can agree with me that we women will make the right decisions most of the times. Yes. See the no, um the opposite gender's advantage. I like, don't agree with that. Uh, Woman, well, I put it like this. Let's look at the result. Let's look at the result. All right, in America, in Black America, women are in power. Women are making the majority of decisions. Black America is at an eighty-eight percent children out of wedlock. Eighty-eight percent children out of wedlock as of twenty twenty-two. This is what women in power may mind. Black families are destroyed. There's nothing but dysfunction, chaos, and division. This is what. Black women who are in power. So where's the evidence that you could show that if black women made the decision that things would go smoother? Where's the evidence? Oh. You. <laughs> Let's look at Africa. Oh, Let's look God. at West Africa. What evidence in West Africa can you show me a group of women who run everything and it's not the men and the women are there and can survive by themselves by making their own decisions. Um, usually, those ladies who have been empowered, we are much more, we feel like, we feel more independent and like, sometimes when the man, when they feel that he's like really get into their nerves or something, they just push them out. Yes. That's not what I mean with talking about. Let's put it like this. Can, can y'all women, can y'all independent women survive? Check one, one, two. Check one, one, two. Don't worry about it. 
I'm gonna cut all this out anyway. Let's get this started, man. Let's get this party started. Let's get it started. The Marion Ghana Show. Today, we're talking about can women really have it all? We hear the discussions. This goes back two, three, maybe even four decades that there was the so-called talk show hosts. You know, back in the day, you had the Sally J. Raphael's you had the Oprah still around. You had the uh, Ricky Lakes and all that. And everything they did pertained to women empowerment. But realize it was never about women accountability. It was always about women empowerment. Folly shows that's been on since the days of social media. Every day, today, is no different. It's all about power, control, but no accountability. It boils over from your government down to the very least of the person. One thing that one of the girls said yesterday, um, she said that the reason why, um, and I'm mad at myself that I didn't follow up on that. Um, I was tired yesterday, just like I'm tired tonight. I work so often. Work from 5 a.m. to um, 5 p.m. Then to get home, 6 p.m., take a quick nap, get up, do this, and prep dinner. And um, one thing she said that um, got my senses, my spidey senses tingling, was that the reason why their women back in West Africa think the way they do about not wanting a strong man because they believe it's they believe a strong man means control, which is absolutely ridiculous, but she said because it's because of social media. And unfortunately today social media raises our kids more than we as the parents do. That's why <clears throat> me as a father, I don't allow rap videos on my own. I don't allow rap music. I don't allow a lot of black entertainment. And the reason why I say that, because when you see black entertainment or black American entertainment, everything is so over-sexualized. It, it, per, um, it perpetuates this theory that black women are only for sex. Anytime you see the majority of black American movies, it's always the strong sexual scenes that should not be shown in front of a child in the first place. <clears throat> but everything is just so over-sexualized about the women. Sometimes the men, but more so the women. It's like telling you subconsciously that black women are only needed and can be useful regarding sex through their bodies. These women that you see on um, black American media they never have anything submissive about them. They never have anything um, humble about them. It's always about how they can stay and remain in authority in a man's position. But that very, that very propaganda gets people to believe in that that's the way it's supposed to be. Even though the outcome shows the very opposite, the very outcome shows that when you have that, it causes nothing but dysfunction. But yet, for some reason, people believe that if you could do what you see on a the TV, then you'll be happy. Because if you see these movies at the end of the day, you know, 90 minutes go by and the movie is showing that the woman and whomever is living happily ever after. But we've gotten to a point that our reality somehow has become social media and um, the movies that we watch. Even if you watch a lot of the African movies today, I remember when I first went to Ghana, when I first took, took my trip to Ghana back in um, April of 2011 and moved there later on in the year, 
And remember one thing. I used to watch a lot of African movies. It thrilled me. It excited me. Because for the first time in my life, I seen something that was realistic. It was based off a lot of realisms about life. About trials and tribulations in life. Now you watch um, an African movie, a Nollywood, a Gollywood movie. Everybody's living in these big mansions. All these cars in the driveway. It's, oh, I didn't know um, my driver was a millionaire or billionaire. It's, oh, I didn't know my maid. I fell in love with my maid. So the billionaire or the millionaire guy falls in love with the maid, falls out of love with his wife. I mean, it's just nonsense, man. A whole lot of nonsense. But this is what's being fed to the public. So when this is being fed to the public, and like I said, there was a time that the parents raised the children. Now, ch now parents allow children to be raised by television. And again, that's why I don't allow any children now, children in the future, to watch a lot of television. Unless it's educational, unless it's going to help them learn new languages, speak, read, comprehend, do mathematics, then they don't need to be watching a lot of it. It really doesn't make sense. But... As said, today we've gotten so lazy with our children that we allow them to be fed this. And once again, that's why I said that I don't even allow rap music in my own home. No, it will. I was a rapper. I get that. Do I agree with all the rap that I put out um, 20 years ago as a teenager? Not at all. That's so why I don't promote it now. It is what it is. It happened. But I learned from it. But it seems like we, as parents, don't want to learn. And those who are the children of these parents are learning from social media. So, when I talk about can women have it all, I really want to know. Because a lot of women these days, young girls, believe that there's this secret recipe to life where you could go about life and you could have it all. You can have everything. You have the job, the career, the perfect man. Um, on a one in ten, he's a ten. Um, six pack, six figures, six inches. They say. Have the mansion, have the cars, even have the yacht. Have the family who look up to you. You're the patriarch and everything is beautiful. Doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Even when you look at Hollywood, these people go through so much trauma in their relationships because of the lifestyle that they lead. But yet, those who have successful relationships, if you look at it, they're normally the average looking people that walk around. The ones in Hollywood, the ones who are making it this thing and the other, that a lot of people follow, the um, IG models, this thing and the other, the influencers, you never see these people getting married and even being able to make it to seven years, let alone seven months. Look at the last person who married in your family, friends, or whomever. The last people who married that you know on average or average looking people doing average things. They go on to make families, build legacies, and pass it down. But the very people that a lot of the young girls follow, their end part is nothing but disaster. Look at all these celebrities that they um, follow, and starting with the women. A lot of these lady celebrities, what do you find them saying? They can't find a good man. And when they do get married to another Hollywood celebrity, it breaks off pretty quick. Even if you're 40 years old and you're a celebrity woman, you're seeing that even they are having trouble finding a man that no one wants to marry them. I don't know how many times it got to be said over and over. Men who have their own don't care about what a, guy, what a woman have. They just don't. They just don't. They care about whether or not that woman is wife material that they could build with them. 
that they could birth children and run a home through them. But these ladies today don't seem to get it. That's why I want to know where do this we can have it all nonsense come from. Here, this is um all right. I have um the Washington Post and I also had a New York one. The Washington Post says this is from 2021, 820. So 820, what's that? August 2020. It says that black women are exhausted. They are finally claiming time for themselves. Black women are exhausted for what reasoning? What reasoning? How can black women be exhausted? Exhausted from what? Y'all women had y'all liberation. This goes from Africa too. Africa is now having their liberation. Their women are now being liberated. But black women in America was liberated ever since 1960, ever since 1965. Now, ever since 1965, everything has gone downhill. The education has gone up. Their financial status has gone up. But their morality, their emotional, and their happiness has plummeted at an all-time low. All-time low. Look it up anywhere. Compare any statistics. Now, this one from um, the New Yorker.com says, until black women are free, none of us will be. And this was, this is recently, this is dated. Um, let me see when this is dated. Okay, this is July 20, 2020. So these articles that started back in the 1960s um, have been pervasive throughout. They continue to be put out there. That's why you have even in the New York Times that black women should consider um, marrying white women. Now, I know you guys probably heard on um, what happened here in Miami, Florida, about the black guy being stabbed to death by um, his white girlfriend. And the whole black community is shutting, shutting it out because they don't want to deal with it. Because the guy himself put black women down on a regular basis through his Twitter page. It was all about how Becky or white women were the greatest thing since sliced bread. And black women were the most disgustful thing. So now he turns out the white women stabbed him to death. Black people don't want to hear about it. I get that. So somebody asked me earlier, would I talk about that? No, I'm not going to. It is what it is. You want to hear about it? Go read about it. It is what it is. I won't stand up for people and from the black community who will put down black people because they think that their white girlfriend is better than all black women. I don't do that. Like I said, man, marry who you're going to marry. Do what you're going to do, but let it be for the right reasoning. That's all I feel. Let's see who we got. Where the hell is my water? I have my water. Hello, good morning. Oh, see, <clears throat> welcome back. Um, I was surprised that you came back on the other Thank time. You. But um, <clears throat> now this is a good subject for us to talk about. Now that you're here, um, what is your name again? Cheetah Mo. Yeah. How old? Are you? You're 22, right? No, 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 no. 21. It's not like it's a big difference. 21, 22. <laughs> <laughs> when would you be 22? Sorry? When would you turn 22? By August. <clears throat> All right, by August. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right now we're talking about the subject of the day, of the night. Can women really have it all? You as a black woman, do you think that there's a pathway if you do things just right that you can have everything that you ever desire? No, no. Why not? <sighs> you just, you just, it's a simple thing in the world. You just cannot get everything you want. You just can't get everything. Why not? Let's not go through these network issues. 
Let's not go through these network issues. Do I get to play some music for you guys? Let me pull up some music. Are you there? Okay, yeah, I'm here now. I can hear you now. All right, let's not go through um, all this now. So um, why can't you guys have it all? Why we can't have it all? Um, I think it. I think it has to do with life itself. Naturally, no one, not even the male folks. Naturally, no one can have everything they want in this world. You just can't have everything. You just sometimes you just have a little bit of what you actually want or what you actually desire. Yeah. Um. It's just. It's just a lie. It's just. It's just like. You just can't have everything you want, no. So, Not possible. so what percentage concerning a relationship? Because that's what this is all about. At the end of the day, we all talk relationships here. At the end of the day, what percentage is um, acceptable? If you pointed out, you wrote down all the things that you want in life from a man, from a relationship, marriage, whatever it may be, on a scale of 1% to 100%, what percentage is acceptable to you? Just off the top of the head. What percentage is acceptable to me? Um, mm -hmm. I would say, sorry, can you? I would say seventy percent is acceptable, but 70%. most of the times it don't always come that way. Seventy yeah, percent. Seventy. It's still like having a model as a spouse, the big cars. And um, big mansion. That's still like seventy percent. I mean, yeah, seventy percent. That's pretty much everything. Yes, it's everything. But I said, like, what I desire. You ask me what do I, what I desire. For me, it's good. I would desire. I desire like a seventy percent. But most of the times, it would just be like a fifty percent that you get. Like if it's that like you got. Every, like, you know, all right. Just like so, what are, the, what are the desires yeah. that you're, what are the desires of this 70%? What are that, what is that 30% that you're leaving out that you're saying, you know what, I desire this, but I can do without that 30%? What is that 30%? I'm curious. Um, the third person that maybe those like little miscellaneous things that are not really important. Some of them I could get give give it to myself, or um, I could just like do without them. I think they are like um, having. I don't even know, but I know it. Oh, are. you know, trust me, you know. You might not say it, but you know. Uh, <laughs> um, too much. I don't know. I don't know. I, right, I, I can't really out. figure out right let now because I didn't see. I'm okay, here for a purpose. Okay, okay. I'm here for a purpose. Let me help you out. Out of that thirty, <laughs> I'm gonna throw. I'm just gonna throw some some things out there. You tell me if they are part of the thirty percent. Um, great sets. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's part of the thirty percent. Yeah, yeah. Good looks. Sorry. Good looks. Good looking, handsome, very handsome man. Um, it's in the seventy. So he got to be good looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Intelligence. Yeah, that's there. Like where? And which one? That's there. Intelligence is there. Like in Nigeria, we say common sense. The person is that has to have seven or thirty. No, it's the seventy. It's among the seventy. It's All right. Not in the 30. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta let me know. I'm up here throwing it at you. All right. Heights. Heights. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's in the 70s because I'm not that much of a heighted person. So I'm not someone who has, like, a good height. 
You see, fellas. So it's in the 70s, got, not the 30s. So far, you got one in the 30s. Everything else is in the 70s. But let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. Um, ability <laughs> to provide. I was, okay, uh, someone to provide. Ability. Ability to provide. Oh, it's in the 70s. All right. Leadership qualities. It's in the 13th. Exactly. See, now we... Guys, you see this? She, <laughs> she wants everything that comes with the type of man that she wants. But if it flips to that he has all those things and she could be in charge and be the leader, this is what women... This is what I mean when women desire to have it all. You see, she escaped some. She escaped one thing, and she moved everything else to the seven seventy bracket. But yet, when it came to leadership skills, she was like, "Oh, fuck. you cannot have leadership skills because I'm going to take that shit over anyway." So you see, you see, this is how y'all continue to reveal yourself. So at the end of the day, you don't mind him not being a leader because you feel within you that you're modern enough to go ahead. Use this money to do whatever and run things, saying that, you know what, baby, as long as you provide, I'm going to run this house the right way that it need to be ran. That's your mentality. That's what you're showing. <laughs> oh. See, you're laughing because you know it's true. You see? Yeah, no, it's true, though. Exactly. I don't like to let anything escape me, man. Even when I'm in my tired mode, I catch these things. I do this. This is what I do. I've been in, I'm, um, I don't know if you can see it, or I'll put it down. My psychology degree. My, my teacher never liked me one day in my life because I went against any and everything that, I won't say everything, but a lot of things that he taught because a lot of things was ass backwards. But I was able to always approve my point in class. And he hated me for that because I could see and by looking at you and what you're saying, that's what you want. You have that modern woman's yeah, spirit yeah. within you. You're going, you know that you're good. You, you well know that you're going to need a beta male. You want a good looking Fine. beta yeah. male. A young man who's able to go out and make money, but come home and know that he needs to listen to you. That's what you want. <laughs> Be honest. Uh. Yes, 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 you're right. Um, but you can agree with me that we women will make the right decisions most of the times. Yes. See, the, no, um, the I don't agree with that. That's advantage. I, I don't agree with that. Yeah. Women, well, I put it you, like this. Let's look at the yeah. result. Let's look at the result. All right. In, America, in black America, women are in power. Women are making the majority of decisions. Black America is at an 88% children out of wedlock. 88% children out of wedlock as of 2022. This is what women in power may remind you. Black families are destroyed. There's nothing but dysfunction, chaos, and division. This is what black women who are in power. So where's the evidence that you could show that if black women made the decision that things would go smoother? Where's the evidence? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at Africa. Oh Let's look God. at West Africa. What evidence in West Africa can you show me a group of women who run everything and it's not the men and the women are there and can survive by themselves by making their own decisions? Um Usually, those ladies who have been empowered, we are much more, we feel like, we feel more independent and, like, sometimes when the man, when they feel that he's, like, really getting to their nerves or something, they just push him out. Yes. That's not what I mean when talking about. They Let's put it like this. Can, can your woman, can your independent woman survive without a man? Yes, yes. Okay. 
Yes. Glad you said that. Glad you said that. Now, with COVID, we already seen what COVID did. That was just a warm up for what's going to happen to come in the near future. Now in China, you hear this thing called zero, um, zero COVID. They're trying to contain a new strain of the virus that they're not even telling the rest of the world. Now, you're a Christian, right? You're a believer, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. The Bible makes claim that in the last days, a lot of things are going to go down. Well, it's going to be so chaotic yes. that people who are believers are not even going to have a hard time buying and selling and um, feeding their families. Now, say like that came about um, 11 years from now. You're, you're going to be in your early 30s. You're going to be your own woman. You're going to be self, self, um, self taken care of. You do all these things. Now, say like the world went into chaos. We see the movies all day, every day. And one thing I say about movies, they, they always a prelude to what's going to happen next. If everything went into chaos and it was every man and woman for himself, and the man, man seen that you had what he needed to feed his family, what could you do to stop that man? You as a woman. And a lot of things I would do to stop him is, I would tell, um, simply I would give him my words that I'm not interested in whatever he wants. No, you're I not getting me. try as far. You're not getting me. If the world went into chaos tomorrow or 11 years from now, and it was everyone for themselves. So as a man, I have to go out there, I have the mindset that I have to be willing to kill another man in order to feed my family, to keep them from starving. As a man, I understand that I have to have the mindset that if the world went that way, all the sympathy and empathy in me at a particular point have to go away because I have to have the mindset that I'm willing to take the life of another man to take what he has in order that my family doesn't starve. Now, if I am that man who's willing to kill and take the life of another man, under them circumstances, what could you as a woman do to me if I came to you wanting to take everything that you have? Nothing is the answer. Oh. You can't do anything. Yeah. Exactly. You okay. said that women can survive without men, but the reality is that y'all can. You're looking at life the way we live life today. Life ain't <laughs> been that way. You understand life has not always been what it is today. We don't live in this modern age for yes. maybe um two or three centuries at best. When things go haywire, you can't do for yourself. Everything that you do, when you go for a job, you're dependent on a man to give you that job. So you're not in it's impossible for you to be independent of yourself. When you go for your food at the market, men have to prepare that food and put it in the market. When you go to buy a house, um, men have to build that house. When you want to, when you make enough to go buy a car, it was a group of men to a company that built that car. Everything that you have in your life right now, the roof over your head today, was it built by men or built by women? It was built by a man, but women okay. now still do those things. Like, it's not only saying that the male gender. Man. So say, say like men and women separated right now today. Do you think if we separated, we divided ourselves up and to take West Africa, take any country, we, we take the South, you take the North. We're just going to live apart from each other. Y'all going to have y'all, we're going to have our own Zamunda. Y'all going to have your own, um, where's Wonder Woman from? Where's that place that Wonder Woman is from? Um, uh, what did they call them women? Um, I can't I, I, I forget. We, we completely separate. Men are builders. Men are able to build. Everything in this world has been built by men. Women, on the other hand, have built nothing. So, therefore, huh? if you were if ah! you were separate, women have built nothing of substance where we have to rely on every day. Did they create electric? Did they create mm. water, water flow, clean water? Did they create the, um, Fineries, they create the warehouses, they create, they created none of that. We're not talking about things that matter to sustain life. 
you women, let me explain this. If you women were separated from men, there's no way that you could ever, ever last one year. How would you eat? How would you eat? How would you drink water, clean water? We, we women have, we have this kind of resistive power to like, to like stand anything. So we can still, still find a way around and get things done for ourselves. All right. I believe like that. Let me, let me, let me, let me explain it this way. You know Congo, right? In Congo, Sorry? you know the country Congo in Africa, Central Africa, right? Mm, yeah. Whether you heard the news or not, what's going on in Congo is this, that there are militias formed from men. And I'm saddened by this because these things have gone on many times on our planet with all peoples of the earth. In Congo, as of today, not yesterday, not last week, not last month, not 10 years ago. As of today, what's going on in the Congo, the militia men in Central Con excuse me, in Congo, a Central African country, are going about raping and killing and murdering women right now. Look it up on the news. It's going on. I don't know why that is not bigger news, but I had to have it run across my screen, research it, and go back into... Um, reputable news sources to find out whether it was true or not. Yes, it's true. The women are from uh, a tribe called the Batawa um, tribe. These women are being raped and murdered on a Why daily not? basis. Yeah, mur murdered and raped on a daily basis. Why are they not able to protect themselves from men? No answer. But you know the answer. Men are stronger. Men are more aggressive. Men are more knowledgeable about war. Men are more war strategic. So if it was ever man against woman, you know who would win. You know that if you were left alone by yourself and a man wanted what you had, there's nothing that you can do. You will lose out. And I, I don't, I don't want to say what they're doing, but what I'm saying is that if you go Google it, Congo, militias raping Batawa women, it's happening right now. It's been on the news for the last two days in Congo. And I'm only able to see it because the setup that I have here, I'm able to watch every, all the news channels from every African country around the world. These women have no defense against these men. If it went down in Nigeria, just like in northern Nigeria, that it does go down all the time, that men murder and, you know what, women there. These women have no defense against, against these men. You know it as well as I do. If men were determined to take what you had, there's nothing you can do about it unless you had a man to protect you and get you out of there. And most men will sacrifice their life for their love or their wife. Most men in those situations will have a plan. They will pre-plan. See, this is the difference between men and women. Men look to the future. We look way beyond the future. Everything that we do today is a plan for what we already expect 10 or 20 years from now. Y'all ladies, y'all like to live in the here and now. Y'all emotions is attached to what's going on now with me. Y'all mental, y'all physical, everything's a attached to what's going on now. Men don't think that way. We're always thinking 10, 20 years down the line. Not all women think about, think only on the now. A lot of us also think about the future when we're taking decisions like me. Like you who want to be in control of your household rather than your husband. <laughs> but you don't think about you don't think about the consequences of that. You don't think about the outcome of that. You said you're a believer. You're saying that you as a believer, I'm going, I want to go, if possible, go against the order that God has placed in order that I may run things. Because I believe that the way that I run things is going to be better than my future husband, who I haven't even met yet. I don't even know what type of leader he is, but I haven't met him yet. But I think 
I'm going to be better at leading things. And you think that God is going to bless that home? Sure, he's going to bless the home. So God blesses people and things who willfully go outside of his order. That's what you're telling me. I am not going out of God's order of not obeying the rules. No. Listen, I'm not going out of his order. The man, gentlemen, is, gentlemen, the man listen, is still the gentlemen, head. Listen to what she just said. She said she's not going outside of the structure of God by disobeying and not listening to her husband. You guys heard it. I'm not you guys heard it. This is our first viral moment. Our first viral moment. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am not disobeying the man. No. I'm not disobeying God. I'm just trying to make, I'm just trying to, you know, make right decisions for him. He could he, we partner together to make the right decision, too. No. Yes. Who, who the, what man want to partner? What type of man want to partner with a woman so that we can make this decision together? <laughs> I don't know what about what you, think, what you think I should do. I'm going to tell you what it is that I'm going to do. You're going to give me your advice. I will think on that. And not that, that I will make my decision by myself while I meditate alone. And at the end of the day, you will have no say in what I decide. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We don't agree with that. You see? I don't agree with that. Modern we women have today, to make even joint. in Africa, <laughs> even in Africa, you get this. We have to make the decisions together. And then I have to throw my own interest and he does. And then the decision you don't have your own interest. If you're married, really if you're married, you don't have your own interest. Your interest is that of your husband. No, it has to be both partners. So y'all have, what do you both. see the word partners in the Bible? You believer. I'm talking to you, Christian lady. Where do you see the word partners in the Bible? Partners are um, couples that are brought together. Where do you Sorry, see the word I in the Bible? The Where do you see the word partners in the Bible? Oh, nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. You know why you don't I see anywhere? anywhere? The Bible. Because God mm -mm. does not recognize the word partners. He doesn't recognize man and woman being equal to each other. He doesn't recognize it. All right, okay. let's, let's, let's stick with it. So you said that you can't have it all, but you think that you can have 70%. But everything that I'm brought up, except one, great sex. You said you could do without great sex. I could do with maybe minimal sex and maybe great sex on my anniversary <laughs> day or something like that. And, you know, maybe if it ain't great, you eat it out. I don't know. It goes whichever way it may go. But um, everything go was put in your 70% box. So... And that's why it's not even 70 30. The way you're talking, it's like 95 5. 95% I need to have, and 5%, maybe, maybe I can do without that 5%. So this is you, modern day women. I'm not even going to say it's difficult. It's going to be difficult for you to be married because you've got a lot of beta males out there, and there are many men who do go out and make money because being submissive in America as a black man will get you somewhere. Being submissive to white men or whatever it is will get you somewhere. They give you a job. They give you an opportunity. Okay. Let, me, let, let me tell you why. Look at this. You watch black American movies, right? Yeah, sure. Notice this. Have you even ever noticed this? If you watch a lot of white yeah. produced movies where the majority of people are white in a movie and they have that one black guy you know they always have that one black guy right notice this have you ever noticed yeah, yeah. that that black guy has he has one or two things or both he has he's small in stature so he's not looking um fearful oh, let, let her link come back I see she having trouble. Hello, I'm here. 
All right, you still there? <clears throat> yes, I'm here. All right, your whole thing is frozen, so, but as long as you can hear me. All right, one or two yeah. things. You don't see, you never see big, strong, muscular, aggressive men in these movies. You always see black men who are short and are passive aggressive. Have you even never noticed that? Yeah. And there's a reason for yeah. that. There's a reason for that. And that's why I say that the type of man that you want to marry, they do exist. They're out here. You're not going to have a strong, productive home where you're going to financially, you may have a financially productive home, but when it comes to raising your boys, God forbid if you give birth to sons, you're going to raise weak boys to be weak men. By the way, you're talking. Uh -uh. You think uh -uh. you can raise them alone to be strong men, don't you? I didn't get you the last thing. What did you say? I said you believe that you could raise your boys to be strong men just by the way that you do things, don't you? <sighs> yes, but I would need your father you in see? that. You see? This is the prob the very problem that we have in black America is growing ever more in West Africa and all throughout the continent. This man right here, a beautiful, beautiful West African lady, very intelligent, book smart, the whole nine, said that she believes that she can do a good enough job alone by the way that she will raise her own sons to be strong black men. And that is complete bullshit. I said I would need your father in raising them as strong men. No, you said if it was you alone, you can do so. You would you have input. What you're saying that you have input from the father because the type of beta male that you want can't even raise a strong man in the first place. He's going to go to you. You already said it. He's going to go to you and get the answer. Every time he needs the answer to a clue, he's going to you. So you're running things. You, you, it's not like he's coming to me. It's not like huh? he's coming to me. Like it's not like he's coming to me. We are just together making decisions. Not like he's just coming. Like if you say he's coming to me, like, thing. like it's the same exact thing. Because if he was to go and do without you, as a man should, you're going to have a problem, and he's not going to want them problems. I could see in you that the minute that man step out of your so-called boundaries, you would unleash hell upon earth, scorching earth upon your husband. Meaning that I see you no. now. You, you'd be cussing up a storm, throwing things, breaking things, F this, F no, that. No, no, Ah. Uh, I can see it. No, I, I, see wouldn't, it. I wouldn't do that. Mm -mm. No, I wouldn't do that. You never been married, so you don't know. See, I already see where your spirit is heading to. I see where your spirit is moving to. So yes, when things get out of order in your mind, you will resort to that other side of you that all y'all women claim to have, and y'all do have it. You will resort to, oh, so you wanna go see the other side of me, huh? Is that what you wanna do? You wanna see the other side of me? Listen, you laughing because you know it's true. <laughs> You know it's true. <laughs> so, oh God! But basically, women can't have it all. You admitted to that, but by your own standards, you almost pretty much want it all. Because outside of the great sex, everything else that I said and brought up, you can't do it out. You can't do it out in a husband. <laughs> Add one more thing. Yes. I'm, 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 I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you, look, I'm going to give you um, what they say. I'm going to give you a line so that um, you can pull yourself out of um, the mud right now. Outside of the first one, name two other things that you can do without in a husband. Two other things I could do without. Mm -hmm. um, I think I don't need your help. I really can't think of. You don't need my help, no. but you already know what you, you need my help because you already know that outside of that, and I'm not even sure if that is correct, because 
you're talking like the type of person that, yeah, I deal without that, but I'm going to be the head of the household anyway. Things going to be coming through me, but I'm going to call no. the partner first. I'm going to, I'm going to claim it's going to be partners, but at the end of the day, if he can't get up to a certain standard at my level, then I'm just going to find my fuck boy and my fuck boy satisfy me on that way. And I just live the other part of my life with my husband. That's pretty much what you're doing no, no. right now. You want to help? No, he's so the head help. of the house. He's the head of the house. He's the head of the house. No, I he don't. I'm not he fighting can't the be position. the head of the house. When you're saying that, we have to make decisions together. So he is not the head of the house. <laughs> what? Why? 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 Oh God! You said you said okay. something about common sense. You said in Nigeria there's something about common sense. In West Africa, there's something about common sense. Common sense tells you that if both parties have to mutually agree on the decisions, then one is not the head of the household. They are partners, and that is the definition of a partner. When you go into business and you're fifty fifty, like you said, fifty fifty partners, one can't make a final without the other. Am I right? Because they're partners. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So you want a partner. You don't want a husband. You want a partner. No, I, I want a husband. No, you don't. You ain't ready for a husband right now. You ain't ready for one. You're not ready for a husband. Yeah, let me, let me, excuse me, let me, let me um, take that back. You're not ready for an alpha male. You're ready for a beta male. And do you are you okay with having your beta male husband? So y'all could mm -mm. make decisions as partners. Alpha, 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 alpha male, thank you. No, you know damn well you ain't built for no alpha male. You know that. I'm going for alpha male. Then you'll be you'll be spending the next 10, 20 years um in and out of relationships. You better go for your beta male. Your beta male is awaiting you. Me? He's awaiting you. Just, just accept him. Mm. Accept him. He's awaiting you. He's going to be handsome. He's going to make a little money so he can take care of you. And every decision he has to make, he's going to come through you. Say, baby, listen, I wanted to go buy this um, golf club set. Um, it's a few hundred dollars. And um, I know I'm paying all the bills and everything, but... I just want to make sure that it's okay with you before I go out and buy it. Is it okay with you, baby? <laughs> baby, is it okay with you? Because if you say no, you know that no is no, and I'm going to accept <laughs> that. But I just wanted to check with you first. You're, you're good with that. That's the marriage that you're having to. <laughs> baby, baby, the kids, the kids, the kids got a D in class, and they fought in school today. Little Johnny... Um, little John John Ford in school and he came home with a D. Um, baby, what do you think his punishment should be? Whatever you say goes. Because I was going to say one week, but I don't know if one week is, is too strong or too lenient. Baby, let me know so um, we could tell we could go in little John John room and tell him together. You like He can it. make Look. those other You love it. You, he can make He can make those other decisions, but I'm talking about major, major things, like major things. Like we have to seek each other's mind to make such kind of major decisions. Yes, we. I tell you what a major decision is. Mind. Hey, sorry. I'm gonna tell you what a major decision is. This is a major decision. I'm telling you from experience. Wife, hey, our kids need to get these shots because the doctor says so for their health, blah, blah, blah. Husband, me, fuck no. Why? Why not? Fuck no. Can you explain why? <laughs> fuck no. Never make the decision. Hey, we, I, I, I've seen this place. Um, I'm going to buy this house. I'm going to live here. Um, can we move to this um, particular country or state or city? Fuck no. Why? Fuck no. Can you explain to me why not? Fuck no. They are made the decisions, and that's how they're going to be answered. From an alpha male that you claim to want. <laughs> now, do you, you really oh. think you want alpha male? 
Exactly. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's I what, what I thought. Baby, we're going to move here to here. Beta Mel. All right, baby. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, baby, whatever you want. <laughs> hey, what do you mean, whatever I want? Are you going to say anything at all? No, baby. It's for you, baby. I just want to make you happy, baby. That's what you desire. So go get your beta male. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Go get your beta male. He's going to give you the 95% that you want. And go get your fuck boy for the other 5%. You'll be okay. You're going to be okay. I'm coming to the wedding. So you're going to be okay. <laughs> Right. Oh my god. This has been fun. Um again, cheat am I right? Am I right? Yeah. 22? No. Warren. 21. 21 student um biotech, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one is easy to guess cuz everybody check it out. Um once again, so now we have you're speaking clear. We got good audio. Um, for the guys who've seen this interview, you beta males, seen this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! For you beta males who hear this interview, if you're interested, um, tell us what type of guy you want. Color don't matter. The color, what it is? What is it? Color doesn't really matter. What do his height has to be? How tall? Sorry. How tall? Really tall, because I'm very, like, short. So if you're very okay. short, why do I'm we have to be really tall? No, I'm not very, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm not very short. I'm just, like, I'm just, um, five, boy, five, five, four. I'm so why four. do we have to be tall if you're five, four? I mean, I'm a five, four. Yeah, most of the average five, man, the average man is like five seven, five eight. So the average man is already taller than you. Yes, yes, yes. So just say taller than you. You just want somebody around, um, say closer to six foot. How about that? Yeah. Do we have to have That's a six pack? Day. Let me guess. Does he have to have a six pack on his stomach and muscles bulging out? No, no, no. That's not. No, that's not. That's not a real necessary. No, that's not necessary. No, so that goes into your thirty box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. at least you got two things in your thirty box. And um, how old does he need to be? Any any age could go. Any age. Sixteen years old. You said no, I said, um, I think, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Like, a little bit older than me, like, five years older, four years, seven years, that's all. Three all years, right. okay. So, you got a problem with this 10 years, 15 years? Yeah, I got a problem. All right, so you want a younger guy? Uh, something like that. You're a modern woman who want a beta male and you want him to be young. Man. <laughs> no, I know, yes. I don't want a beta male. Uh, alpha, alpha male. You say what you will, but you got issues written all over you right now. <laughs> I'm being honest. You got issues I've written heard, all over you. I got no issues all over me. Yep. I got no issues. From a man's point of view, if men are on here, we got a few people on here. Men, are you listening? Do she got a bunch of issues with her? Yes or no? Um, even a lady. I want everybody listening now to let me know if our guests right now have a lot of issues that she's going to have to work through before she can legitimately find a husband who's going to be satisfactory to her. And from okay, there, if you, you say so, I, I give up. <laughs> oh, there's no giving up, I man. Give no up. giving up in life. We, 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 come, we come from a warrior class. As black people, we come from a true warrior class. We don't give up on anything in life. You understand me? 
So we all warriors to the end of our days. To the day that we go in the grave, we're going to remain warriors. We don't never say that word in our life to give up. Let that not be in our vocabulary. But anyway, cheat him up. Um, if you're beta male slash alpha males, you say, want to get in touch with you, let him contact you directly. Give him the information. You just chat me up on Instagram. Chima on this, okay, C H Y underscore N M E 18 on Instagram. All right, cool. Is that all? The only contact you want to give out? Could just, yes, on Instagram, then we could talk there. Yeah. All right, just make sure you just check the box Instagram. regularly. All right, cheat him up. Okay. It's been fun. I look forward to this beta slash alpha male that you're going to get in life because I definitely want to meet him and talk to myself. So this is going to be a wild one. But I appreciate you for being on the show. I really do. All right. Okay, good night. All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. All right, guys. Now, that was funny. I got Jen saying, not really. <laughs> All right, we got some here. But what do you guys think? But anyway, 95% of our list is in that 70% box. And the other 30% is only linked to like two things. Oh, man, she, she got a ways to go. She, she basically won um, the perfect man. Damn. But, hey, to each his own. The one thing I would say that by the time you hit that 30 mark, all them, all your asking price comes down. So everything is like a market. There's a market price from, for all females just like it is for male. If you ever see that, like, expire, like you buy milk and it expires by a certain date, men have an expiration date. That is like 20 years beyond women, at minimum 20 years beyond. Women have an expiration date. 20s and up, they're fresh. By the time they get to 30, they become a big stale. By the time they get to 40, 50, they expire. So now you got to look for someone who is willing to go to the market and buy expired milk at a discount. But it's not even that. A lot of these ladies are asking you to buy expired milk at the original price from when it was first produced. That's insane. But that's what you see today. That's what you just heard. Or she's, if she, I, I'm rooting for Cheetah Ma. I like her. She's cool. She's been a caller to the show. Um, I definitely want to see things work out in her favor. I just think she's going to have to work out through summer. She's going to work out, have to work out an asking price because everybody has an asking price. And some women have an asking price that's higher than the norm. Just what it is. There's no female walking this face of the earth who deserve, who asking price will be paid when it's 95% of their desires. It's just not going to be. It's just not so. It's not. It's not, it's not realistic. Early on, she said something about 50%, but she really wants 70%. And that 50% was more logical than what it is that you'll get. Because at the end of the day, we all want to build homes. We want to be families. We want to build legacies and uh, be productive in our society. And it's very difficult to do that by ourselves. So that's another part of the reason why we have families. All right, guys. I'm great. Call it Twitter, Instagram. We're at that one hour mark, so it's cutting off. We take a one minute break. We come back on soon as um it cut off. Just um come back on the show. And um anybody who's going to be a guest on the show, um send your request 